I'm not ready yet. I'm just need to put on my shoes. Just one second. Just cover me up. Cover me up. Hello. Hello. I am Vargo. I am Hushglove. And we are Ukraine's most famous improv duo. Loom. <laughs> Loom. <Loop. laughs> and this is improv for, for dummies. dummies. You're, You're a dummy. dummy. Yes. 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 Let's talk a little bit about acceptance. No. Let's talk about acceptance. No. Acceptance. No. I want to talk about no. ex accept. No. Always say yes. No. Let's no. Let's talk a little bit about acceptance. No. Don't be like Hashklov. Sorry. <laughs> when someone makes an offer, you always say yes. And. You don't have to actually say the word yes. You just have to accept it and build on the offer. You'll look stupid if you say yes, 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 yes. Oh, do you want to go to the park? Yes. How how is your date? Yes. <laughs> yes. Give an example. Okay. Oh wow, Borgo, nice to see you. Nice to I, see you. I see that you have seven legs. Y yes. It's funny you mentioned that. I was born this way, like Lady Gaga says. There's a little thing called endowment. And so in the last example with the legs, let's say he says, oh, I have seven legs. It doesn't mean he has to go, oh, I changed my legs so show I have more legs. Just accept that you have seven legs and you look the same as you did before that. Well, let's get serious for a second. The offers you give are enough. As long as your partner is accepting, anything is acceptable. Moving, Moving on. on. Choo -choo. Hey, Hush Club. Yes. What does an audience track in the improv scene? Oh, shit. Hey, Hush Club. What does an audience track in an improv scene? Hey, Hush Club. What? what does the audience track in the improv scene? We did not call for this one. Hey, Hush Club. What does an audience track in the improv scene? Is it plot? No. Is it conflict? No. What is it? <gasps> Relationship. You can argue all you want in an improv scene, but what the audience really cares about is your relationship. When we say relationship, we don't mean sexual. It's not enough to know if she is your sister or your girlfriend or both. I don't judge. We have to know why is this scene important? What happens between you? Think of relationship, past, present, and future. Instinct to make something happen in a scene is not the most important part. Relationship comes first. If you have the instinct to shit your pants, hold it. Unless it benefits your relationship. Hey, what if I don't know where to start? Thanks for asking, Hashklov. You're welcome. If you don't know where to start, start an improv scene with an observation, a Establish the relationship and establish the location. Let's try it. Wow, you have beautiful legs. Wow, and I wore them specifically today to at this gala. Oh, I'm so glad that I could bring my own brother with me because I did not have my own date. That's, That's a, a three-line three scene. scene. Now you may be thinking, oh no, how am I going to think of all these things on the spot? I'm not that good at improving. Here's what I have to say to that. Abandon control. Don't feel like you have to cook up a stew of ideas from your noggin every time that you improvise. It's all in front of you and the other person. Just look at them and abandon control and be okay with the putting control in their hands because you trust them. Now, that being said, our American friends at UKB say that you should look for the game in a scene. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Well, finding a game is like a, a, expanding on an offer that is given. So let's say, oh no, y we are dropping like flies. That is the game of the scene. Roll no. with the game. Don't give up on the game. This is a sophisticated offer. Sophisticated. You don't need to 
look for the game. The game will happen on its own. But be aware, have mindfulness and so, awareness. Oh, that could be a game. Oh, could this be a game? Okay, let's go with it. We improvise. We improvise. There is a thing called miming that we use in improv. What happens when we do not have props? When we do not have things to represent things that we want to look realistic? What if we just use our bodies to look realistic? I want one. Mine was already open. Make it real. Make it look so real that people think you're holding something. If you're going to fight in a scene, fight in slow motion. Like this. Make sure you watch the news and keep up with things that the audience might find interesting. No, it could be a funny joke to bring out the, to be Donald Trump and talk about <laughs> the bad things he's said. Well, I do the wall. I do the wall. <laughs> Most of all, just relax. Don't freak out. This is supposed to be fun. Improvises is fun. <laughs> Improvises is a skill. It is a muscle you build. Just work off your impulses and keep your eyes open for offers. And at first, you're probably gonna say some pretty weird things. But don't let that stop you. I used to always say the n-word. I would only say nutter butter. Don't rely on the n-word. Here are some games to get you started on your improvisation journey. Helping hands. Ah. Oh, okay. Blind pockets. Hi, mom. What? What do you want, Kinchka? Why are you smiling? I'm smiling because. I let the chickens eat my food last night. You let the chickens eat your food last night? I told you last week to never let anyone tell you what to do. Oh, shit. Greatest hits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, my gosh. The ding game. Hello, brother. Ding. Hello, father. Ding. Hello, sister. Ding. Hello, Clerkman. Hello, miss. Nice to see you, Clerkman. Thank you for doing all my taxes. Ding. Thank you so much for sleeping me with last night. Da. Now let's talk a little bit about long-form improv. What this means is we have many scenes put together to make one story. All the basic principles remain intact. Relationship. There are a few tips and tricks for long form improv. When you want to skip to another scene, there is a thing called wipe, 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 wipe. The troop members that want to be in the next scene will run between the troop that is already on stage and the audience members. And they will say wipe, 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 wipe. And the next scene will proceed. The fellow troop members that aren't on the stage can help out too. They can do things like make sound effects, clap, say freeze, go to flashback or flash forward to explain what's happening in the present. They can even have God like they say freeze, you see that they are in Disneyland. That could be very useful. Characteristics for perhaps... I just spit on the camera. Their characteristics perhaps... <sighs> characteristics... When she gets angry, she poops her panties. <laughs> called a time bomb. <laughs> can arise any time in the scene slash long form. And that's when you're, you're looking. The audience tracks time bombs, okay? They track it. Let's say she has not yet pooped her panties. The audience is waiting for her to poop her panties. Now you know the main things to focus on to become a good at improvises. This is a hard thing to do, it's not easy. This is just the dummy video, so don't feel- if you feel stupid, good, you should- it's the dummy video. Thank you for watching, I'm Borgov. I'm Hushklav. And you have great news. Improv for, for dummies! dummies.